Meet California's newest water contaminant. In January, California's 4,000 utilities will need to begin testing for a newly regulated contaminant called 123-trichloropropane, or TCP for short. If you haven't heard of TCP before, you may be wondering, what is it? Where is it? How to get in the water, and how dangerous is it for your health? For starters, TCP is a man-made chemical. It's found in industrial operations for cleaning and degreasing, as well as in agricultural pesticides that were used decades ago as soil fumigants to kill tiny worms. There is no federal regulation for TCP, and Hawaii is the only other state besides California to regulate it. California has set the strictest regulation for TCP, with a maximum contaminant level of five parts per trillion. How small is a part per trillion? It's one gallon per one trillion gallons. For a larger comparison, that's a little more than a kiddie pool's worth of water inside Lake Tahoe, which is a body of water so big you could submerge the Empire State Building in it. Five parts per trillion may not seem like much, but research has shown TCP to be a carcinogen that is potent even in tiny doses. TCP at or above this level has been found in about 100 water systems in California, impacting close to a million people. So, where are these water systems? There's a large concentration of contaminated wells in Southern California's San Fernando Valley. TCP was found there after it leaked from several Superfund toxic waste sites. The good news is those leaks were discovered years ago, and area water systems have been treating to remove that TCP for more than a decade. But the San Fernando Valley contamination led other water systems in the state to test for TCP too. And it turns out there are dozens of towns lining the Central Valley with a contaminant in their groundwater, from Chico all the way down to Arvin. The Central Valley is farm country, and the source of TCP here is likely from pesticides. There are now about as many TCP lawsuits in the Central Valley as there are towns impacted. These towns are suing two companies that manufacture soil fumigants that contain small amounts of TCP, Dow Chemical and Shell Oil. These lawsuits are meant to recoup millions of dollars that those towns will need to spend to install treatment systems that function like giant, expensive Brita filters. Many of the impacted communities are small, low-income, majority Latino communities that are already battling pollutions from other water toxins. Todd Robbins, an attorney representing 30 different cities in the Central Valley in lawsuits against Dow and Shell, thinks the new regulation from the state will help settle these lawsuits more quickly. 